Okay, so it's the 30th of April, and I'm out for one of my evening walks. And uh, I'm gonna uh, stop off at the grassy field and go for a run, probably one or two circuits around the field. I'll see how I feel. Um, I'm not very good at this. So I wanted to give some information that might be helpful for people who are watching my vlogs. I want to use this as an opportunity to document my, my progress. But also I realize that I need to be, I need to expose the, the vulnerability and, and all my emotions and really the truth of what I've been going through uh, in this process. So I, uh, I want to be able to lay all that out. I'm 45 years old, soon to be 46, and uh, I didn't grow up as an active child. So uh, I later in life came into running discovered I loved it, but my body <laughs> was quick to tell me that it didn't love it. And um, so it's been a real um, uphill battle, really. Uh, I ran the London Marathon in 2015. And um, in my training process, I decided I was going to, I, I wanted to change my running style. So I, I started running doing toe running and uh, long story short I I did too much of that too soon too quickly and as a result I got shin splints and so I did run the London Marathon doing a mixture of um, heel toe and toe running but as a process as as a result I, I ended up with shin splints and then I stopped running for about well, from then, from 2015, from the, from the marathon to maybe 20, 2018, 2019, I, I didn't run at all. Um, and really sort of worried that I wasn't going to run ever again. But I, for those years, I sort of put it in the back of my head. I didn't think about it too much. Um, and then uh, I discovered a... Um, I was sick of the pain. I was just living with this pain in my shins all the time. And I wanted to deal with it. So I uh, found a local sports physiotherapist. His name is Andrew. It's uh, Elite Physiotherapy. I think that's right. Might be wrong. Anyway. Um, and he did electrotherapy on my shins. And uh, I, I went through a six-week course of this and uh, by the end of it I was my shins were healed but as a result what I've ended up with is a serious psychological block um, I I strongly believe I have these beliefs and these voices in my head that well not real voices but you know um, I have these beliefs that I that I'm never gonna run again and they are very strong and substantial uh, beliefs and so I, I get scared very easily by any little niggling pain uh, before I had the shin splints I also struggled with um, tendonitis in my right outside ankle which I later discovered was perineal tendonitis and uh, I've been doing a lot of research and, st and reading about that and then when I started, re after my shins were healed, I started running again. And then, of course, the perineal tendonitis decides it's going to rear its ugly head. So if it's not, if it's not the one thing, it's the other. And um, the the other week, I went running on the grass, as I as I spoke about in my first video. And it felt great. It actually felt great. I was, it's the first time in, in a long time I've been able to run that far. Solidly. And feel comfortable doing it. And then Saturday I felt great. And then Sunday... I was sore again. In my perineal tendon. And it didn't feel like the tendonitis that I was used to. It felt more like... You know, like... You know, muscle soreness when you've run and the lactic acid settles, and then you have the soreness. That's kind of more what it felt like, but of course, 
with my with my psychological block here of course it spooked me and so I iced it I wrapped it and I rested it and I thought oh here we go again back in the cycle well I called Andrew booked an appointment for the fifth um, but it, yesterday as of yesterday the the soreness has gone away oh. <laughs> my um my um app just told me I just had walked a kilometer <laughs> anyway um so the soreness is gone but I'm still doing the stretching still doing the the massage and the heat just going to keep that up because I want to keep my calves supple because obviously the problem is my calf muscles are so tight because I have high arches that they pull up on my they pull up on my tendons and of course then with the running the tendons get sore so I'm just going to take it easy I'm walking my route but I'm going to stop and run a run around the field a couple times in the middle hoping with some walking on both sides that's going to be helpful um, I am a I work with a theater company called Covenant Players and uh, I'm running the marathon to raise to raise funds for Covenant Players to do performances in schools and churches and and uh, prisons that's that's what we do I'll talk more about that later but um, this is a real love of mine is the is to be able to run and um, I want to beat this psychological block of mine I'd like to push through it a couple about a month ago I was told by the doctors that I had high cholesterol and that was kind of it for me I thought no nah, I've got to do something about this because of lockdown and all that stuff happening I was eating everything in sight and I was so unhealthy suffering from acid reflux skin issues I was just a wreck so I've uh, decided to take myself in hand and I've adjusted my eating as I said before I've cut out carbs and sugar and dairy as much as possible and uh, since since then that was the 30th of March that I started that now it's the 30th of April is that what I said anyway 30th of April I've lost about between 10 and 15 pounds it's hard to say because the scale fluctuates but I feel so much better the acid reflux is gone I mean it's still there as an issue but it's just not being exacerbated by what I eat so that's a good thing so I'm on the up and up and I feel mentally I feel much stronger that I can that I can tackle this issue but of course I know I'm gonna have ups and downs I'm gonna have good days and bad days and there might be days where I have to wrap the bandage around my leg again and and I'm gonna feel like I'm right back where I started so it is my hope that with these vlogs I can share some of that experience um, if not for anyone else just for myself to look back and see where I've come from uh, that's really going to be helpful for me but um I'm nearly to my grassy field, so I'm going to sign off, and uh, I'll to let you know how it goes.